Hi everybody, welcome to a new video from Sound for More. Today we are going to go through how the randomizer works inside Helium, Helium from four pockets. Um, I use it quite a lot because uh, it's very easy to use, but also it's very easy to create new ideas. So we are inside uh, AUM, so let's create a MIDI channel and let's play with uh, two audio channels. On the first audio channel, let's load something like um, Pure Piano, which I recently reviewed, fantastic um, piano itself. And um, on the second audio channel, let's load something like Continua, so that we have um, a pad perhaps playing on continue and uh, a main melody played by um, Pure Piano. So let's load also Helium as a MIDI processor. Here we are. Perfect. So let's make the connection. So we have a Pure Piano listening only on uh, channel one, and we have a continual listening only on channel number two, like so. Perfect. Let's open uh, Helium and let's maximize the window. Now, <clears throat> first thing to uh, go through is to select the scale. I like always to select the scale um, unless you want to use a chromatic scale. So if you click and hold where it says a time signature there, you can choose a scale here, the key. So for example, let's choose AC. You can choose the type of scale, major or minor. And then you can enable the scale. If you enable the scale, you see the uh, names on the keyboard as well, which is really nice. Now let's go to the menu, click and select randomize. You see a new window, window which has appeared here. So let's go through it um, step by step. So first of all, on the top, you see keys. And these are the keys that um, the randomizer will use to generate a random um pattern so if i want to i can deselect some like so or i can click apply scale and what it will do it will apply the scale which i already selected um, a moment ago which is straightforward that is why i selected the scale at the beginning next um, <clears throat> you can see here the lower octave and also the upper octave so in this case it's going to generate a pattern between uh, um, octave 4 and octave 5. And that is important in terms of, of um, remembering where, um, where the randomizer will generate notes. Now, if I click on the randomize, it will say you haven't specified the loop. So let's click like that on the top, click and hold, and create a, a loop. And now, while we are on it, let's select uh, the loop to enable it. And also, let's link it to sync it to the AUM host. Now let's click randomize. There you go. So now we see a, a melody which has been created. Let's click play. Okay, first of all, if you click randomize again and the setting on the lower and upper, and upper octave are the same as um, just done before, it will replace the notes which were there. So that's something to remember. So if you change the octave above or below, uh, it will leave what was there in an octave that you are practically not touching or randomizing into. Okay. The other thing to, to understand is um, the duration of the note is set by here, by the grid. So if you click on the grid and you select uh, one eighth, and then you come out and click randomize, you can see it generates different um, um, it generates a, a pattern using uh, one eighth as uh, the length of the notes. Let's click play. The four is busier. The other thing which has been added recently by Paul from Four Pockets is the complexity. At the moment, this is medium. So if I was to click high and generate again, you see the complexity is greater. Similar. Similarly, if I go to low, it generates again. You can see the complexity is very low. Hardly any notes. So let's set it to medium. And then what I want to do is also set the velocity. So if I click on here, I will have a um, note generating using velocity. 
and you can see it because it in different uh, with the differences of color. Okay, so let's click play again. Okay, next thing I want to show you is the random mode. At the moment it's mono, but if I click on the right arrow here, it gives you the selection of poly arp so that you can generate some harmony. Let's click on it and click play. So you can you can see that it is overlapping notes, so you have harmony. And there is also a third mode, which is random, which will use also different length in nodes up to the grid length, which is selected. So let's click randomize. There you go. Let's click play. Now you can also move uh, and the pattern to the left like so, or you can move it to the right. Okay, and that's very useful as well. You can close the window as well. And recently, Paul has also added a probability so that um, some notes can actually be played or not. Um, now, let's close this. Let's go uh, outside. Let's go inside Pure Piano and let's change the preset to Cinematics. And then um, what I'm going to do is go to Inside Continue and... Um, Parameterize these a little bit more. Perhaps we have two filters, four poles, um, like so. And then perhaps we go to the effect output. We enable also the uh, reverb. Okay. And um, why not? Let's try. So go, let's go back to Helium. Let's go to track number two, like so. Okay. Now let's go again to menu and randomize. This time I'm going to go lower an octave, three, okay, three to four, like so. I'm going to change the grid to bar because I want it longer because of chord. And I'm going to use um, the polyarp. I'll leave the complexity medium for now and let's generate something. Okay, perhaps let's increase the complexity, randomize. Okay, and um, Let's try. Of course, the beauty is that is one way to do it, but this is helium. So we could, for example, um, select um, uh, everything like so, delete go into the files, the clips, choose something e flat major to C minor, a progression, a minor, and why not insert a progression instead of randomizing it, like so. And let's try it this way. And of course, you can continue like that. The beauty, of course, is that um, you can also mix it up with other uh, audio units inside uh, um, AUM. So, for example, let's load uh, uh, something like um, ARPBUD, like so. And then let's get um, ARPBUD to be driven by Helium, okay, on port number two, which means it will receive chords, right? Then let's create another audio um, channel. Let's select something like uh, Synth Master. Um, Synth Master 1, why not? Let's try that. Let's connect that to our bud. Let's open Synth Master, maximize the window, go to Browse and uh, type uh, Pluck. So we can choose a different um, a Pluck sound. So, um, why not? Let's um, uh, black like so. Let's choose the Anjuna black. I don't know. Let's try that to see what it sounds like. And um, let's uh, probably decrease the volume because it might be high, like so. 
And then let's click play and change the pattern in our bud. So you can see how easy it is to create ideas using the randomizer function inside Helium. It's really easy, straightforward, a joy really to use. So I hope you found this tutorial uh, interesting and useful. See you next time. Bye.